Gospel of February 16, 2014 A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish but to fulfill. Amen, I said to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law, until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so, will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. I tell you, Unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, You shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I said to you, Whoever is angry with brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says to brother, Raka, will be answerable to Nesadendry, and whoever says you fool will be liable to to fear Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar, and go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court, otherwise your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I said to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. You have heard all that it was said. You, heart, you shall not commit adultery, but I say to you, everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his, in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is, better you, it is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into, into Gehenna. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I said to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery, and whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Again, you have heard that it was said to your ancestors, Do not take a, foul, a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you bow. But I said to you, Do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, not by the earth, for it is his footstool, not by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We have a lengthy gospel today, and I'm just going to see a few of the points that come to my mind. The first one, Jesus states that he has not come to abolish the law or the prophets. Rather, to fulfill them because the people back then wanted to interpret the law and the prophets any way they wanted so he will be teaching us what is the exact way how God wants us to understand and the first thing is that the law is to stay as long as the world is the commandments of God will not change so Rest assured of that. Now, he says, Unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Meaning that you cannot come to God trying to take advantage of Him, trying to conceal something that you have in your heart. We can conceal from each other many things, but not before God. So we have to be honest. And we have to be humble. We have to recognize before the Lord that we are sinners. And it's better to recognize that we are sinners and honest and humble ones than to try to pass like pure people that we are not. So we have to be true. 
The second thing is that he says, you have heard that you shall not kill. But not only killing, he says, whoever is angry with brother will is liable to judgment. Only being angry. Only, and much worse if you say you fool. Because you reject your brother. What is he talking about? He's talking about forgiveness. That we should forgive everyone but also ask for forgiveness. And how important is that? He says, if you bring your gift to the altar and then recall that your brother has anything against you, it, he doesn't say, you recall that you have anything against your brother. No, that your brother has anything against you, then go back and reconcile before you present your gift to the altar. So before we can go and pray, before we can go into Mass, we must reconcile with everyone as best as we can while we are on the way, meaning we, while we are in this world living. Now, he says, You shall not commit adultery, but anyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. And the same for a woman that looks at, into a man. It's the same. Now, because the sin is committed inside our consciousness, and that's exactly the place where we must stand guard. It doesn't mean that if you're watching perhaps television and suddenly there is an image that really catches your eye, it doesn't mean that you immediately have seen. No, when you realize that there is either a woman or a man that is very attractive to you, you can just reject the coming thought and look elsewhere, and then they will not sing. But if you enjoy yourself and start thinking and thinking about it, then you are sinning greatly. And it's not just the action, but what you let yourself be tainted inside your conscience, which is very important. Now, there is a caveat, there is a warning. When the Lord says, if your right eye, ca eye ca causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away, or cut off your hand, he doesn't mean it literally. He means to be radical. It is like a barrel of apples. If there is one single apple that is rotten, and you don't take it out, it will rotten every the whole thing. So if you allow sin to be inside your soul, or your conscience, it will rot the whole of your conscience. So the whole conscience has to be clear and pure. Very difficult to, lo to attain. And only with the mercy and the help of God can be done. So that's why we have to be humble. Whoever divorces his wife, and he says, Whoever divorces his wife unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Do not take a false oath. And the Lord says, just do not swear by anything. Be simple, and if you mean to say yes, just say yes. And no, just say no. Because anything more than that comes from Satan. We have to be humble today. And especially if, we have, if you have the chance, go to Mass. Today is Sunday, the day of the Lord. If you cannot go today, go some other day of the, of the week. But at least go once a week to have Holy Communion and the Eucharist. God bless you all, brothers.